Welcome back to another vlog everyone. Today we're in Bordeaux Centre and yes, you've guessed it, it's the big brocant. Let's go antiquing. So today we're in dangerous territory. We've not actually got anything on our list to buy. And that's when things go really wrong, I think. We end up buying stuff that we didn't think we'd ever want to buy. What do you think, Anna? Well, it's things that you fall in love with. Yeah. Let's go for a rummage. Anna, I think I'm, I might treat you today. To one of these nice chairs? No, no. I know it's not great weather today, but um, how about a hat? A hat? No, thank you. I'd, I'd much prefer one of these chairs. Look at these. They look amazing. Yeah. I'm not checking on the price, so because I know it's not happening. But why would you treat me to a hat with this weather? I don't know, but look at the city over there. Oh, yeah. Amazing. It goes with the chairs, doesn't it? It does. Oh, look, they have hats too. I think now I see why you wanted to get me a hat. They're on offer, 50% off. You cheeky thing. Let's find the store holder and let's uh, find out how much these chairs are. And the other ones, some really nice chairs over there. Ed, who's got expensive taste? Me and you, Anna. Yes, that's these... why you chose me and I chose you. Yeah, these chairs and the kind of city that goes with them are from 1900 to 1920, but they are designer. It's Paul Fullo. Um, okay, they've been recovered, so yeah, they're worth quite a bit recovered. But they're actually for sale at 8,000. Um, I, I, I think that's probably an okay price um, because clearly it's a designer's chair rather than just anybody that made it. The two chairs behind are from the 60s, though. We like those just as much, but they were in at 2,000... 800, 800 for the two. They're and, beautiful. And then you were kind of questioning, is this a Lalique uh, chandelier, which probably a lot of people would be saying on as they watch the vlog. It does look Lalique-esque, but actually it's made by Gilles. And it is Art Deco, so that's why I assumed... Yeah. I mean, it, it is that, that kind of Lalique style, and you can just see it on, on the end of these, they have a Gilles printed. It's not very easy to see on camera, possibly. But what good taste this lady has, and what lovely pieces she has on her stand. Yes, she does. This is a kind of cathedral um, shape to it, and the lady's chosen such r really good fitting material on it. You can see the lady from Art Deco, with her Art Deco kind of style hair, haircut, clothes the same, tennis racket from around the same period. It it's just fits so well. And, and, and even the flowers are all kind of drawn as they would be during the Art Deco period. I really like this stand. Again, you turn your head to one more side, out pop these lovely bedside table lights or even bureau lights, whatever you'd want to use them for. 950 euros each. I think sometimes you pay for what you get. And on this stand, you seem to really get some really good quality antiques. Let's move on, Anna. Can you believe how rare those chairs were? She said she's had two of those chairs in 35 years, but not a full kind of set where you've got the city and the two chairs. So that shows you how rare that is. So we've not gone too far down the alley and we, uh, we came across this place. 
This lady only started kind of dealing in antiques due to getting fired um, during the confinement. So kind of economic reasons, they had to let her go. And so she found herself doing not very much and decided to try giving, you know, dealing in antiques a, a go. Um, she said that she met a few good people um, that kind of helped her along her way, but she's got something quite unique. Not only is her stall probably one of great value for money stalls in this fair, but she has some, uh, some great, she's had a great idea on some of the furniture, um, but we'll talk about that in a second. You've fallen in love or have we both fallen in love? I, I really like this. I think the best thing to do is to rattle through a few things with a few prices and then talk about her main side of the stall. So we've got this lamp here, beautiful lamp. I don't know whether we're gonna be offering something for it, where would we put it? I mean, I it's stunning. But it's 320, isn't it? 320 euros. Yep. Let's move on. Little uh, decanter set here. Um, Stuart it must be the maker's name, I think, Stuart. But it's at 450. Again. So that is, and obviously, crystal. Yep. Beautiful little piece. Would do well for uh, kind of export. So if there was somebody in maybe the States that was interested in that, probably be quite easy to get over to the States. Or someone up north that likes his whiskey. I don't know who that, well, I know a few up north that like the whiskey. But then you got Phil and uh, Billy there. Well, and Michael. And Michael, yeah. And the, list, the, the, the list goes on. <laughs> Let's move on to something that is probably not very good for moving. Um, this is really great value for money again. It's a mirror. It's looking about five foot of mirror. Mm -hmm. or like one meter 50 of mirror. But the nice thing is you've got these side mirrors as well. I'm not sure on the age. Um, it's had a bit of uh, renovation as well, but 850 uh, for all intents and purposes, four mirrors. Look at the ornate carving at the top of that mirror. There's seashell design there with flowers on either side. It looks really nice. Stunning. There will be light. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it is what it is. It's not a magnificent chandelier, but it's not the price of a magnificent yeah. chandelier. It is clean and it looks pretty much complete. And it's at 370 euros. These days, that's, that's cheap for something this size. Antique rather than a, a recent repro. It's beautiful. Okay, let's move on to the main event here, which is the furniture she's working on. We gave it a go, it was very, very hard, and we sandblasted a piece of furniture. Uh, some people agreed with it, some people didn't. It's hard work. It is hard work, and I think this lady's got it down to a T. She does sometimes use a special formula to take any colouring off and, and varnish or, or wax or anything like that. She has a special formula that she laughed about and didn't say, say we could have. Um, but what she does is she strips old pieces right back and discolours them and they come out looking amazing. They do. To be fair, brown furniture is not in fashion at the moment. No. And so, you know, instead of these pieces kind of being left around, not used or even burned, she's dealing with them and changing their appearance. And I, for one, absolutely love how these are all coming out. We'll scoot around and show you all of them, but I think this is probably the pièce de résistance here. And look at the price though. Ridiculous, 550 euros. Um, not that many years ago, in its original condition, you'd be looking over a thousand. Um, and so to have it worked on and to kind of brought up to today's style, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, you could go into somewhere like maybe Maison du Monde, which is a brand new furniture place. You'd be paying so much for something and you wouldn't be getting these old fittings no. that you've got here. Um, I think she's done an amazing job. Uh, I did ask her one thing. I said, what do you do once you finish sanding or finish stripping back the furniture? Because we had a lot of people telling us we should do this, we should do that, we should do the other. And she says she doesn't do anything to it. It doesn't split any more than it would do because it's so old already. So it's not going to split any more, the wood. She does say, though, that 
anything like this, you don't go near it with water. You don't put a glass of water on oh, it. Yes. You're going to get stains. So yeah, yeah, the people that were kind of telling us in our vlog, be very careful. Not you know, you're going to get loads of stain wood, water stains on your wood. They were correct. right, yes. But it won't crack anymore. So this is going to stay as it is, and I think it's absolutely stunning. Maybe show some of the other pieces. stopped we both said we really like this yes we did and whilst you were looking over there i thought I'll just check see how much it is you know you never know it's mother's day around the corner i might go back on my own and, and come and get it for you it's a terquite so it's uh, clay and it's from the start of the 19 uh, the 20th century so 19 you know early 1900s and then i saw the price and then you thought no i can't have it we do have expensive taste anna well, you can you can admire. Yeah. You don't have to buy. You can admire. Three thousand four hundred. Very very nice, but not for us. <laughs> <laughs> but it's beautiful piece. Absolutely beautiful. There is something else though. Yes, bubble bubble toilet trouble. <laughs> <laughs> this here is called a witch's mirror. Yes. And it's uh, bombay. Curved. Yes. Bombay. bombay. Curved. You can tell it's old because it's got those marks on the glass. Well, on the mercury on the back of the glass. And it's at 990. Which I think, that is a good price. But but what would you use it for? We wouldn't. I mean, we can... I'll tell you what you could do. Put it in the guest bedroom. You know, and then like, just come to, come to stay with us and like, oh. <laughs> no, it's, it's good fun. Ed, a familiar face. Yes, it's that time again, everyone. We're going to go see Alex. But I think he's ready now. I can see the full beauty of his amazing things. Look at that, he's got new champagne glasses. And he sat there working. <gasps> he thought he did, He thought nothing was going to happen today. But today Little is the day. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at our, we can say our favorite stand with the favorite person there, Alex, that we love. Yeah. He's a sweetheart and he's actually making me a coffee. He's like, would you like a coffee? Yeah, he didn't offer me one. He did. You said he you did didn't want really. one. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, it's a bit late in the, in the day for a coffee for me. Well, Alex has the most amazing pieces as always. Yeah. I mean, I could fall in love with so many services, so many glasses, and I the like chandeliers. Chandelier. I mean, this back area here, absolutely stunning. And we can even tell you the price. It is 1,900 euros. And it's from the 19th century. And how many times have I been in love? Because we've had a look around. Yeah, to tell everyone the true story, we've been here about an hour. You've had your hands in all of uh, Alex's drawers. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you've asked the price of practically everything on the stand. I have. I have because, I mean... To be fair, I don't think this is a stand that I need to present to people. I think it's a stand that you need to present to people. Hi, everyone. So... I do apologize because I have got a cold. I think you can hear it, so I'm very nasal. But this is amazing. I mean, I'm in heaven. There's a service here. So there's an absolutely stunning service here. 
with obviously the blue, the gold. Anna, let, let's let's just go back a little France. bit. You, you, you are now France. Well. Okay, so obviously the Dimoche, it, uh, I think Alex said it was someone very like French, very famous, owned this service and Alex bought it from him. Mm -hmm. And obviously I would, I would love to have this. We can't have it because the price is 3,000. Don't be moving the camera. <laughs> 3,300. But I can admire it. And I can even admire something that I think is within our budget, Ed, which is this absolutely adorable lamp, which I think I will make an offer on this. I think this this we could afford. Ninety we euros. Can, I have to say, Anna, we can't afford oh. it with the lamps, uh, the light bulbs that are on it. Why? Because they're not LED. Oh, so sure. yeah, if we change the light bulbs to LED, then I think we yeah. could afford it. Ninety euros. There we go. The, the price. I'm putting the price back on because I want to. I'll see if we Have can you... get it for less than ninety. Hold on. For all the things that you've had a look at, you haven't stolen some of the price tags, so you can just switch no, them around a bit. No, no, I'll never do that. I would never. I'll try to negotiate. Plus, I'm pretty sure Alex knows the prices by heart. So this is stunning. Can we move on? Yes, we can. Definitely. Well, that was the la number one. Number two. This is quite modest compared to the three thousand three hundred. This is another beautiful service. And uh, Gaudin, 15 Rue, Paradis, Paris, a palace in Paris, and they had their own service made. And this one is 1,700 euros. Looks fairly big service, though. It is a big service. But in perspective, all those are stacks of plates at the back there, aren't they? It is a beautiful service. Sadly, we don't, well, we can't afford it at this price. We'd have to lose. Zero. I don't would have stop. I would have like run for it. It's I mean it's a beautiful service and for someone that has the money, it's amazing. But not for us yet. If I could, the blue one still is my favorite. I'm I'm trying to edge you away from that seventeen hundred set, Anna. <laughs> I, there is something one thing I actually really like in here. What is it, Ed? It's in the box down there. It says little glasses oh. where Alex is. They are really blessed. cute, aren't they? And they're beautiful ladies. Well, it's like little port glasses or well, sherry. Yeah. Lick, uh, Liquor. Like, I would say like something that is very sweet and concentrated. Set of six in perfect condition in the box. Yes. And how much is that? 160 years. So that is really good value for money. Yeah. And you you brought me close to a tea. T-set. T-set, yes. UML. And obviously made in France. Beautiful with the green. This would look amazing for Christmas. I don't think there's anything I don't love here. There is something else, though, that I think... I mean, this is... I love red as a colour. And this is deep red. And they're Murano glasses. It's a set of 12. Alex told me the price, because I had to ask. 900 euros for the 12. He, I know you do, you do a price, but... I don't get them, but I do love them. Silence from this side of the camera. I know, don't worry. I know. <laughs> but Wasn't there something else that you like that possibly go with it? Yes, there's some flutes in the cabinet over there that could go with it. And actually, they were really good value for money. They are just over here. Was the one broke on its way, didn't it? But I think Alex said he could get it fixed, yeah? Yes, and Alex was saying, like, for the 11... He could do it at just the just these ones, not the 900 euros ones. He said 200 euros for 11, which I think it's a really good price because he said they're Murano. So I'm losing my voice, guys. So I, I, please forgive me. I can still talk. I mean, there's San Luis Crystal here. There's Baccarat. There's Radic. I, I just, I think I spent... All, all the big boys are here, aren't they? Yeah, I think I spent half an hour just asking, like, about all the different ones here. So I think I'll leave this one alone because this is like maybe the, the hardest part. I think this chandelier I've had my eye on for, I don't know, two years maybe? Yeah, but if you've had your eye on it for two years, that means it's slightly more than it should be asking for, it. Eh? Has it come down? Because you're really good no. at memory and remembering if things have changed. It hasn't come down, but he said that it's going to go in his apartment in Paris because the, thing, the, the truth is 
he also he's also in love with it, so he doesn't want to part with it. Oh, price not to sell. Maybe, maybe. Um, and these here were quite interesting, weren't they? Yes. So they were part of a really fancy hotel restaurant in Paris, and at the start they were one thousand one hundred euros each. Mm. Now Alex is doing them for four hundred and fifty each. I did try to offer him four hundred and fifty for four. He said no. <laughs> um, One can how many did he have at the start? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Wow. So I think the last four are the bargains, really. If everybody's been paying high prices, the last one is silver plate, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And they they look amazing. Well, they are silver plate. There's four of them. Yeah, so. really, really good. There was this beautiful lamp here. So, Empire, and it was owned by a French actor. And that is stunning. I'm just going to check the price. <gasps> 3, I think we'll just finish the vlog there. And then... <laughs> it's stunning. No, it is nice. We poor. said goodbye to Alex for the time being. Yeah, poor Alex isn't in form, is he? He's no. a bad leg and uh, he's having to sit down a lot, so couldn't chase me today. Um, let's move on. And I think I've seen something that uh, Billy's got in his chateau. Yes. A la Chateau Barmanier, there is a uh, mechanical piano. So if you wanted a piano like the Pethrix, this one here is at 1600. I'm not saying the Petherix is at 1600. It's probably worth a lot more than that. Um, but yeah, it's all the same idea. I'm not going to touch anything because it says, please don't touch. And you will respect that, won't you? Yes, I will. Ah oui, si, si vous pouvez. Oui. oui, si ça vous dérange pas, ça serait génial. We're very lucky. Eh? The, the, couple that, <laughs> the couple that has the stand has agreed to wind the piano and we're going to be able to hear it. Oh. This is really good fun yeah. because you have to put, because the gentleman was explaining, you have to put money here, obviously probably pull on this, and then after the money would go down here, down there, and fall here, so they would collect the money. Yeah, what the money would do, it, it uh, pushed out on that and starts up again. <laughs> Cheat again. <laughs> yes, basically, uh, it pushes down on that lever and everything kicks in. So. That is really good fun. Yeah. 1600 euros, Ed, you have found something. Yeah. Come over here because you're against the light and I can't see you. One of the bedrooms in Vilnav, we were struggling for a table, uh, like a dressing table. Well, we probably wouldn't use the bedside tables using those lamp stands, but this, this is just perfect for that room, isn't it? It is. I'm going to show everyone now. It's like, I mean, even the crackling. It's the same. On the seat would go with the... Uh, with the bed. With the bed. How uncanny. They just... I mean, obviously, it must have been the same time. And we can ask the price as well. Unless if you find the price. How cute. There's no price. Maybe one of the drawers. 
So he's selling that together for 450. 450 euros for the chair and the dressing table and the two bedside tables. Yeah. Which I think is a very good price. Yeah, it's for like 50s, 60s furniture, but yeah. A nice really cute. <laughs> Saying for that price, you get the uh, perfume bottles come in with that one. It's very, very cute. We haven't gone fired, have we? No. Um, nice little stand, nothing kind of out of the ordinary, uh, apart from these. And I'm pretty sure these are for lock picking. Oh. Where do you want to get in then? I don't know. Maybe we should give Billy a call because he, he, I think he's got quite a lot of these. Maybe he needs some more. I don't know. This stall, I always go by in admiration on this stall. It's the kind of go-to guy for um, architectural pieces, uh, for mainly for building, I suppose. If you're going to build somewhere with character. But or renovate somewhere with character. Yeah, you need this guy. He's, he's got everything. Um, you were just looking at the balcony, the kind of forged uh, metal railing for a balcony. Yes, I was, because, I mean... I can just imagine a Julia's balcony and you serenading me, or I serenading you. But the serenade is stopped when I found out it was 1,300. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you've got to, you've got to remember, you, how do you get one of those if you don't pay the money? Exactly. No, it, it's, it's beautiful. Do you know what but these are? No. You don't know what these are? No, I don't. Uh, Oeil de Boeuf, no. Yes. Okay. So for roofs, yeah. So you want to put those that that kind of stamp on the building where you got Oeil de Boeuf at the top. Well, this guy has them in stock. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, he, he has amazing pieces. And yeah. I think there's two things that I absolutely adore. We've not asked the price yet, so I'll have to cut in a minute and ask the price. But come through, Anna. These are exceptional. Oh, the, the oh, pillows. The pillows. Very, very nice. Carved wood. I think they may have come out of a church. Maybe. Di Setien. Di Setien. 17th century, the gentleman is saying. And that fireplace looks amazing. Yes, but we have one in stock, don't we? That's twice We do, size. but yeah, if... But, okay. but yeah, those pillars... Qu'est-ce que c'est le prix pour les piliers? Hein, les... 2,800. 2,800. I don't think that's really that bad for the age of them and for the size of them. 2,800 euros. And that's the craftsmanship that's gone into them. Considering what we saw before, they're yeah. really good value for money. Oh, yeah. yes, you can even see like the carving I here. Think the and Pratt uh, Cloister. Cluster. Cluster. Cloister. Cloister. Close. Ah, I don't know. Oh, I love the pillows. They would look amazing in a convent. Yes, they would look amazing in a convent, <clears throat> Billy. Awesome. But uh, the all of the information for this guy is on um, on that card that you put at the start. Yes. This is just like a little kind of window for him. Um, he has a lot of other amazing pieces in Langol. And I've seen some, is it uh, top of the beds there? I mean, yes. beautiful fireplace here. Sold. <laughs> sold, but... It's already sold. Gone. But look at these. Yeah, yes. I sold. Mean... Oh, this is sold. Wow. Yeah. C'est bien sûr, c'est vendu. Vendu. Et quel était le prix par curiosité? Ça, ça a été vendu 1200 euros. Ah, uh, so... Un ciel de lit. Ah. Oui. So this is a huge, huge ciel de lit, and we've just been told the price, 1,200 euros. Yeah. That's Again, though, it is original antique. Yeah. Well, right. The big. size, the gentleman saying, is exceptional. You don't just tend to find them this big. No, they're all this size. Yeah, they're all very small no, normally. And there's something that, I mean, two lamps that I've been eyeing for two years. Maybe they're not here. No, it's not these ones. 
it's they Further were up. yes they were up here and i have been looking at them for a very long time we'll say and i still look at them oh these two yes so these are off the streets in bordeaux uh yeah well the actual bridge the big napoleon bridge ah yes oh as they get the crack that's plastic oh plastic that's a glass. Yeah. good idea I think if you were having to replace glass on those, you'd be in for a lot of money. Ah, they switched them around. They probably were glass originally, but as per usual. Okay, yes, yeah, so it's the coat of arms of Bordeaux oh. in bronze. C'est le pont, pont, euh... Okay. Oui. okay. Elle a déjà demandé il y a oui. quelques années. Ah, mais je n'oublie pas, je n'oublie pas. Quel est le prix? 1200, la paire. 1200 the pair, I think, again, good pricing on those. I think it's very reasonable, to reasonable. the size. Ed, can you go next to it so I can just... I'm not going to go next to it because I'm going to look oh, tiny. Oh. Yeah, they're big. They would look amazing for, like, entrance, like... Either side of a doorway. Yeah, they're beautiful. I mean, as much as I love glasses and plates and all of that, these I are... think they're close, close seconds, favourites. Yeah, I think uh, really, really interesting depot. We're going to have to go have a look at his one day. Yes, maybe. Put, put in the comments if you think we should vlog it, because I'm sure he'd let us go and vlog uh, yeah, his depot. His depot. Yep. Um, but yeah, lots of food for thought here. That was a very interesting stand. Yeah. And he had like a panelling, we, could, we couldn't really see it in there, but he had 3 metres 70 panelling by seven, 17 metres uh, with doorways and things like that. But, you know, it's maybe not as impressive as Billy's room that he bought um, off the Rothschild uh, estate, possibly off the Rothschild estate. Um, but yeah, still very, very nice interior there that he had. Um, I think I think it'd be really good to go to his depot, but like I say, just pop in the comments if you think we should uh, go visit Yusuf at his uh, at his depot. Ed, we stopped again, not very far. Yeah, I mean, this, I've seen lots of uh, wine racks over the years, but I've not seen one like this. Um, for me, it's missing a circular piece of glass on the top, so you got somewhere to put your wine, or or even a piece of marble. Yeah, but that can be that can be found. made. Yeah. Made. Um, yeah, it's just a, a fun form, and it's three hundred euros. But there might be a bit of room there. Probably a bit of wiggle room there. But it's very very nice. I like it. It's different. I think I know somebody that's interested in that because yes, my mum's been looking for a wine rack for a while, and she's only got a small wall to put it on. Yeah, and that is like a feature. That could be like a feature on that wall. Yeah, I think it's really cute. We'll show it to her and. And she oh. may want to come for it. Yeah. But I've seen something else I like. So this here, I think it's really nice. It is really nice. And I like the, the green. Really, really ornate. If you buy every seat, you can get a better price. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Serpentine Desk uh, from Venice. And it's in good condition. I like the wear that it's got on it. It's, it's really well patinaed. And it's at 650 euros. And the gentleman did say... Yeah. If it, we accumulate a few buys, then maybe things would become a bit cheaper. So... Uh... That's really good. We're in a very nice stand and we've seen something we've never seen before. Yeah, it's a marble light. So, I mean, you can imagine the weight on that, held by these really lovely bronze fittings. And you can almost see that it's like under a lot of tension there. It must be quite heavy. But it's Napoleon III. You know, yes. the Napoleon III, the kind of, if you remember those black... Um, cabinets. Black cabinets. We've got your, your black dressing table that I got you. That kind of uh, style. End, uh, of the, end of the 1800s, start of the 1900s. Uh, so... Um, and what was the price? I can't remember. Ah, 1500. 1500 euros, yes. Yeah. And it was in a very, very pretty chateau, we'll say, because we can't say more. Mm -hmm. And I think it's exceptional. Yeah, it was in the Dordogne, wasn't it? So. Yes. Yeah. Very, very nice. And behind, there's a chandelier that it's not often I've seen chandeliers like that. 
normally that have more rows, whereas this one is just very ornate on one level. You don't, it's think, not your cup of tea. I think it's short and fat, Anna. <laughs> but yeah, each to their own. Some people would prefer a chandelier like that rather than a bit of height. Yeah, but, uh, He's got some cute chairs here. Yeah. And I think definitely a Napoleon three uh, yeah. table there. Yeah. I think it's very ornate. Yeah, I think thinking about it now, I think that would go better with this kind of wooden Napoleon three rather than the black lacquer. Yes. Which unfortunately we don't have much of, do we? No, but this is like, look at all the inlay here. Yeah, beautiful. Inlay. Very, very nice. I think, does it have the price? Oh, it might have the... It's got a love letter in there. What? Love letter. Um, yeah. Oh. Very, very ornate. It's a conveniency. And this is only 350 euros, so, yeah. I think that's a good price. It's a good little stand, this. Yeah? yeah it's got some good quality antiques and some kind of almost run of the mill at good prices. So the, the price, yeah. is that yeah, good? Yeah. It's not, we're just saying, it's not, not actually missing anything. It's just uh, kind of wavy and a little bit kind of characterful, we'll say. Yeah, yeah quite like that, but... It's again. really nice. Obviously there's a beautiful mirror down there. Yes. And a really nice chandelier. <laughs> but this is like a... Uh, Oh, okay. 400 euros. A mere 400 sons. Oh, A yes. bargain next to the to that beautiful chandelier that I really like there. It's not even a chandelier, it's a candelabra. Oh, yes. Very nice, but 800 euros, so. Yeah. I think it's time to move on. So we've done about a quarter of the fair today. Well, it's quality, not quantity. Well, I think we should finish on one of my favourite stands. That's uh, good. And then, what do you guys think? Do you want us to come back? We could possibly come back and do a vlog for next week, if that's what everyone wants. Pop it in the, uh, in the comments if you want us to come back and carry on filming some more antiques for you. Let's get inside, because it's raining. Show the, the stand and uh, show the beautiful pieces that this guy has. So yes, we're back at Atelier Napoleon III, um, <laughs> where we, where I came back and got your little uh, you dressing did, table from. You did. Um, beautiful surprise. Beautiful surprise. Beautiful little piece, and and it wasn't a huge, hugely expensive piece. No. Some of the pieces here are absolutely stunning, and of course they have a price that goes along with that. Um, but that's why we're going to finish on this one, because it's just a little kind of temptation to see what money can buy. And now we're starting with the piece that caught our eye. Yeah. Which is going to say piece that caught our eye, because it's not going to catch anything else. First of all, it is a plant stand, yes? Yeah. But back in the day when you didn't have uh, fridges and you wanted to cool your champagne, you had ice, so you'd put ice in the ice bucket and you'd have your champagne in, so that's why it would be like this. Very cool. 2,950 euros. Yes, the price isn't but, as cool. Yeah, but we're showing pieces that are exceptional and there's really not many of them around anymore. It's really nice. I think we should move on to the next piece, which I think is absolutely stunning. And it's this, again, kind of a stand for a bust. I mean, you could use it for a plant. You, can, you know, lots of different choices. I wouldn't put a plant on it just in case you made water damage with it. But it's, uh, again, very, very rare. And that's at 2,980. Very nice, but... And then we have one thing that is mega, mega rare. And I'll explain why. And it's this clock here. Stunning clock. So we are still in the Napoleon three. Everything on this stand is Napoleon three. So instead of just having black lacquer here, it's got tortoise shell. Mm -hmm. And instead of the tortoise shell being stained red, basically they've kept it natural. So it's kind of like a natural color. And then nothing's 
out of place on it, so everything's perfect. And also, these blue Roman numerals are very, very rare on a piece from Napoleon III. So on saying that, that everything's in place, there's nothing wrong, there's the blue dial, there's the uh, uncolored tortoise shell, it makes it a very, very, very rare piece. And that is on at 9,500 euros. Beautiful piece. Yeah. Not for us, but for, well, for us to admire, for yes. sure. And, um, and then he has some more kind of uh, accessible pieces for people abroad, for example. I mean, we, we said this last time, I think it was about a year ago, wasn't it, Anna? Yeah. Um, you know, something Those cabinets, I mean, the drinks cabinets, I love them. Something like this, this is obviously a great example and it's at 2,500, but there are some other ones a little bit, a little bit uh, cheaper than this, but you know, that, that would send quite well to abroad. Okay, this is 2,560, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, there's a back around the other side, if you can see. Ah, ah, this okay. one, not this one yet, although this one is beautiful. Ah, yes. Oh, okay, we can Plastic see the back. 1810. Has the tick. And what is the price? Yes, even with the little ticket. No. And the price? I'll tell you because it's not. Donné. Ah, que je veux pas. Oh, wow. We're going to find out the price. 160, something like that. Huh? 3,790. Yeah, it's Baccarat. La boîte a été and look at the box. Oh my mm. goodness. I think he should be proud of his work there because that was Yeah, he's redone. I mean, he's restored the box. The service is full. That's amazing. Mm. And at the price, 3,800 then? No, 3,790. 3,790. Very nice. I mean, there's so much little kind of beautiful things that you could have in a home. Oh, look at this. 990 for this beautiful piece. He's got amazing things. Oh, he's going to close this for us. Look at this. Oh, he's got the initials. The original name. H L. Oh. oh. Oh, it's, oh, it's such nice pieces. Oh, look at this. Very, very nice. And this one, really cute. And the price, 1,450 euros. Yeah. Very, very I don't nice. Close it, actually, in case I do something wrong. I for, ah, I fulfilled it. The, Okay, so we've been shown how to close. Okay. I think I still have a favourite. <laughs> Is your favourite Baccarat? Yes. There's a shot. Oh, there's one over there as well. <laughs> oh, okay. That, okay, that's my favourite now. Et quel est le prix pour celui-là? Donc, voilà, avec la verrie qui est conforme au dessin. Wow. Uh, 3800. So, the same design that is here is also on the box. Oh, wow. I think perfect. this is the exceptional one. As much as I like Baccarat, I think this is the one. Absolutely brilliant. What a stand. It, and what a stand to finish on. Yes. If you enjoyed today's vlog, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. See you all next week.